Howdy. Hillary here. Hello. I've um, got a really simple tin for you today. Um, it's one part. It's called Groundhog. And it's a good one for if you want to start singing along with what you're playing. Because it's fairly simple to play. And um, it should be a good one for that. Um, should, uh, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, there is some carnivorous content here to this tune, this song. So we're in a C tuning, and you could be double C, and you could be in double D too, which would be the same tuning, but capoed up at the second fret, and then with your fifth string tuned up to A. But right now, we're just going to stay in C, and uh, and remember that your sort of home place, your the place makes the place to make a one chord in this tuning is with your finger right there. To get there from G, you tune your second string up to C, and you tune your fourth string down to C. So you'll notice you have two pairs of, of, of strings that are the same note an octave apart. You have your G still, of course, your first string and your third string. And then you also have your fourth string and your second string are both Cs, leaving this D here as your first string. So, um, so I'll show you first the most basic way, and then I'll show you a couple things you might do to that to jazz it up a little bit if you're bored with how you're playing it the first way I'm showing you. So remember that that's your one chord, your, your, and, and you have to have your finger there to do that. Um, so it starts on the second string with a bum D, and then put your middle finger here on the third string at the third fret and do a bum diddy there. So you're hitting that string. It'll sound a little discordant, so you went bum diddy, bum diddy. Now another, just like the first one, second string, and then an open third string. So you're, what your right hand is doing is second string, third string, second string, third string. What's your, I mean, what your that's not my right hand. It is my right hand. What my left hand is doing is is leaving my finger here, bum midi, putting this down, and then taking that off while you're hitting the second string and then the third string. Okay, so. Okay, now we're going to switch and have the same kind of rhythmic pattern, but it will be on the first string. And we'll start at the fifth fret. And it's going to go fifth fret, diddy, third fret, third, fifth fret, open. So, diddy bum diddy bum diddy bum diddy. So, all so far what we have is, start in the second string, remember, bum diddy bum diddy bum diddy bum diddy bum diddy bum diddy diddy bum diddy. Okay, we're halfway through the tune, so quick and easy. So, bum diddy bum goes the first string but with your finger down and then open then put your finger back down but it's a little counterintuitive we're not going to hit that first string we're going to aim for the second string and then put your finger down the same place you did before third string third fret so it's and then that same string open Now the 
la last line. Start here. Now we're going to pull off at the third fret. So pull off, diddy. So that's just the first string and the fifth, and your fifth string, of course, with your thumb. Bum, diddy, pull off, diddy. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy. So when you're ending this, at the very end of the tune, you go bum, diddy, bum, diddy. But you might, um, and then you could you could just do that, and then it's the bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum. So, which would mean you'd actually have sort of three bum ditties in a row. Two, that's the end of it. And now here's the first one. Um, if you want to make a little break between the first time you play the tune and the second and so forth, um, here's the, I'll play the last line and go into the beginning of the tune. So what I did was diddy bum diddy bum diddy bum. Instead of bum diddy bum diddy, I go bum diddy bum slide. So bum diddy bum slide. And now I'm not doing a huge slide. It's just from. So it's just kind of a slur more than a slide. So it's from the third fret to the fourth fret on the third string. slide every time if you want to jazz it up a little bit. So starting at the beginning of the tune. This time you can slide the other direction toward the peg head. That's the third string. That's not a good, this isn't a good place for you to sing it. Capo it up to D and play it in D. Um, just remember you've got to capo your, or you're going to tune up your G string also to an A note. Okay, I'll put some lyrics in the, in the description.